Dive and Nicolina show. What's up today, Mom? Today it's Get to Know Me Better Day, in which I ask her questions about a variety of things. Were you involved in any kind of political protest, such as for the civil rights movement or against Vietnam? Why or why not? I am not that old. You are not that okay. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Were you considered popular in middle school or high school? I was not. <laughs> why or why not? Why not? Why not? Um, uh, I guess I'm not totally sure why not, but I wasn't big on sports. Well, in middle school I did gymnastics, but um, I don't know, so I wasn't big on sports. Well, you didn't necessarily have to be at my school to be popular, but um, I had a couple of friends that I was close with, and that was that. Did you have big fights with your mom when you were growing up? No. How about with your dad? No. I mostly didn't live with my dad, so I didn't really have fights with him. I did have one big fight with him um, when I was a teenager because I wanted to change my last name when my mom got remarried, and he didn't want me to do that. Uh -huh. When, if ever, do you think it's okay to tell a lie? <sighs> when telling the truth is going to hurt somebody, and it doesn't matter if they know. I mean, I think little white lies are okay. Like. Um, I don't know. Like, you're looking good today when you can tell that somebody feels good about themselves, and or I don't know, or if they just need the boost, or yeah, this this dinner is is good. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I think little white lies that are protecting somebody's feelings and doing no harm are okay. But on the flip side of that, now that I'm thinking about it, I know I. Hmm, I've been told, wow, this is really good by someone, and if this is good or that's one thing, but I've had someone come up to me and put his arm around me and say, oh, this is really good, when it really wasn't, and it makes me not trust him. So, so you got to be careful even with the little white lies, but I guess when you're making such a production out of it, it's not little anymore. <laughs> Any job in the world, what would it be? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Any job in the world. Hmm. For much of my adult life, I have thought that being a physical therapist would be a cool job. Um, but if I could have any job in the world, I don't think that's the one I would choose. Lately, I've been interested in psychology, and I shouldn't say lately. I've often been interested in psychology for much of my life been interested in psychology, but lately I have realized how interested I am. So I would enjoy being like a research psychologist, I think. Um, but still, if I could be any job in the world, it would probably be something different, like maybe a professional athlete. Why did your parents give you your name? Ah, well, my first name is Nicolina, as you know, and in my case it's a Norwegian name, although my understanding is that it is also an you Italian have a Norwegian name. It is. Oh mom, you're so cool. I am. <laughs> <laughs> but it is also an Italian name I have since discovered without the H. Mine is spelled N I C H O L I N A. If you leave off the H, then it's an Italian name. And there's a book of that title out in the world that that we have read, oh, whether I right. remember or not. But the Norwegian Nicolina, the, I got that name from, um, I was born in Minnesota, and my and we had neighbors who were Norwegian, which is not uncommon for Minnesota, but um, but we're not ourselves particularly Norwegian. I think there's a little bit in there somewhere, but we're generally mutts, European mutts, <laughs> I would say. And, um, no family. What's that? No guy in the family. No, no European mutts. Wow. So, um, anyway, our neighbors were Norwegian, and they sang a song called Nicolina. My dad thought it was pretty, and that's my name. What's the best thing I ever gave you? <laughs> the 
best thing you ever gave me. Um, possibly it's because it's recent in my mind, but I would say my birthday present this year was probably the best thing that you've ever given me. It was awesome. She did this whole thing where she made this video and maybe I should just go ahead and post the video, but it's not as good as if you see the whole thing because there was a video and then there was a dance um, during part of the video that then it synced up with the video which was really cool and then there was a whole thing about interviews with um, family and a close friend and it was an awesome birthday present. Do you think you have any prejudices? What would they be? Mm, I do. I mean I think that it's unreasonable to say that you are totally prejudice free. Um, I like to think that I approach individuals without prejudice but the fact is that I do hold some stereotypes in my mind and I'm maybe a little ashamed to admit it, so I don't know that I want to share. <laughs> okay, we can skip that one. <laughs> there were war against the United States, how would you feel about volunteering for duty? Uh, poorly, I'm a pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, against the United States, like they were invading the U.S.? Mm -hmm. I think. Um, I might feel pretty good about taking up arms for that purpose. I think that that would be the one kind of defensible time to enter into war um, if your country is being taken over. I guess though, you know, to be totally on the up and up, it might depend partially on who is taking us <laughs> over and what their, I mean, if Canada were taking over the U.S., I don't know, that might be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be famous or make a lot of money? I know the answer already. I think. Wait. Mm. Mm. I think I'd like to make a lot of money. <laughs> um, being famous isn't really that important to me. Uh, but to have plenty of money to be financially secure and um, make jobs optional <laughs> would be Awesome. Yeah. If you could do only one of the following, what do you think is the best use of money? Being able to take family vacations, having a really nice home, or being able to send your children to a great college. Why? Um, I guess I think eh, my first instinct is to say family vacations. Uh, we've already chosen to have kind of, um, yeah, our home is fine. It's great for us, but it's not like a really fancy, fabulous house, and um, and I kind of have this belief that, well, it's great if parents can pay for college or help out with college, that it's sort of the kid's responsibility to put themselves through college if that's something that they want to do. That's what I did and what Anthony did. Um, but when I start looking at what our actions have been, then, I mean, at this point, we're spending more money on you and your education, what, however broad a term you want to put that on, sending you to camps and things, than we are on family vacations. So, while I want to say family vacations, my actions seem to indicate education for my kid. Mm -hmm. How much money does a person need to have a good life? I don't think money has much of a direct bearing on having a good life. I think that uh, most people want about 10% more of what they have, regardless of what their income is. So um, I can't put a number on that. It kind of matters more um, what you do with it and what your choices are. Being happy within whatever your means are and, um, and choosing fulfilling activities and people in your life is much more important than money. Alright, well thank you mommy. You're welcome. That's our show for today folks. I hope I didn't bore you too much with all of my blathering on. <laughs> See you tomorrow.